everybody, this is Bob here from Gaming with Zach and Bob with special guest star today, MSU Fan Dan. Hello, gamers. How are you doing? I'm sure they're doing well, Daniel. It's our final game of the week. We're doing card charts. Man, has this week really flown by, I tell you. All right, here we go. Card Sharks is our game. Let's get started. And let's load the cards in. Rachel, beautiful Rachel Reynolds is loading in our cards today. And I'm going to bring many cam in here for just a moment. So Daniel may, probably can't see the question, but we'll try anyways. All right, here is the question. It goes to you, Daniel. How many of the hundred people we surveyed with beware of dog signs said they actually have a dog? Say what? How many of the hundred people with beware of dog signs said they actually have a dog? 80. 80. All right. I'm going to go a little lower on that. And the actual answer is 58 people actually have a dog. So it is lower. All right. I have a four. I'm going to go higher. Higher than a four, it's a nine. I'm going to go lower. And it's a ten. No. Free play of the cards for Daniel. All right. Your first card is an eight. You must play off that card. Lower. Gonna go lower than the eight, and it is another eight. Same card. All right, here's the question for me. We asked 100 people, how many of the 100 third grade girls we surveyed said they've worn lipstick? How many of them said they have worn lipstick? I'm gonna go 40. All right, Daniel, higher or lower? Lower. Lower, and the actual answer is. What? 73. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go higher then since I won the question, and it's a seven. I'm going to go lower. And it's a king. No, not right. All right, Daniel, you must play off the eight. Higher or lower? Higher. Higher than the eight, and it is a ten. Lower. Lower than the ten, and it is a king. Oh, that third card gets both of us. All right, Daniel, we asked 100 people. How many 100 teenage girl babysitters? said they've told their mother they were babysitting when they were really out on a date. How many of them said they were out on a date when they told their mother they were babysitting? 60. 60. All right, and I'm going to go a little higher. And the actual answer is 11. It is lower. Wow, really? All right, you have an 8. You can change the card or play off it. Change. Changing the 8. The 8 is now going to become a 7. Ooh. Higher. Higher than the 7, it is a 9. Higher. Higher than the 9. Taking a chance, it's a 6. Free play of the cards for me. I'm going to go higher than a 4. It's a 7. Lower than the 7, it's a king. No. That third card gets me. All right, fourth and final question. Somebody must win on this play of the cards. Questions to me. We asked 100 people. How many hundred people said the federal government should be required to balance its budget? I'm going to go 30. All right, Daniel, higher or lower? Higher. Higher, and the actual answer is 88. It is much higher. All right, so you've got a 7. Change the card or play off it. Change. Change that card. The 7 is now going to become a 6. Oh, well, that didn't help. Higher than the six, and it is a seven. Higher. Higher than the seven, and it is an ace. Good card. Lower. Lower than the ace. It's a seven. Higher. Higher than the seven to take game number one. It's an ace. Woo. Nice job. You won game number one, and now we're going to move on to the second round. And we're going to have Rachel do out the cards. Thank you, Rachel. And here is the first question. And the question goes to you, Daniel. We asked 100 people. How many of 100 co U.S. congressmen said they drive a foreign car? How many of them drive a foreign car? 15. 15. All right, I'm going to have to go a little higher on that. And the actual answer is 47. It is higher. All right, I'm going to... Show you the first card, it's a 10. I'm going to go lower than the 10. And it's a 5. Higher than the 5. And it's a queen. I'm going to go lower than the queen. It's an 8. 
What the heck? Higher than the eight. To win game, I got a game number two with one question. Wow. Lucky. Lucky pants. All right. Three cards we dealt out. Three questions will be asked. Somebody must win with the sudden death. Here's the question for me. We asked 100 people. My 100 people in Hawaii said they've seen a volcano erupting. My 100 people in Hawaii have seen a volcano erupting. I'm going to go 25. All right, Daniel. Lower. All right. And the actual answer is 52. It is actually higher. All right. Uh, I've got a 10. I'm going to go lower than the 10, and it is an 8. I'm going to freeze. All right, Daniel, your question. We asked 100 people. How many hundred city mayors said that police women should go on strike for higher wages? And it said police women should go on strike for higher wages. Um, 38. 38. All right. I'm going to go a little lower. And the actual answer is six. It is lower. All right, I'm going to change that eight. And the eight is now going to become a nine. Well, I'm going to have to go lower. That might be a little better. Let's see. It's a jack. Over to you, Daniel. Your first card is a jack. Uh, lower. lower than the jack, and it is a seven. Freeze or play off it? Freeze. Going to freeze on that seven. All right, last question. We asked 100 people. How many 100 steady teenage girls said they'd be suspicious if their boyfriend cheated on their previous lover? So how many of them would be suspicious if their boyfriend cheated on their previous lover? And that's to me. So I'm going to say 45. All right, Daniel, higher or lower? Lower, and the actual answer is 41, and it's just a little lower. All right, so you can change the card, or you can play off the 7. Uh, higher. Higher than the 7. If you're right, you take game number 2, and it is an ace! Game number 2! Nice job. All right, now, you're going to play the big money cards, Daniel. Here we go. Oh, and my consolation prize is the seal -a meal Anything that fits in a seal -a meal bag can be sealed in the seal -a meal All right. Here is the here is the big money cards. You must bet at least fifty dollars on the first two lines. Would it give you two hundred dollars of betting money on the first line, four hundred on the second line? And you must bet at least half your money on the big bet. Let's get started. You can change one card per line. You have a five for your first card. What would you like to do? Two hundred. Uh, two hundred dollars. All of it. Higher than a five, and it is. Another chance to try to find that jackpot. You have two chances now to try to find the jackpot. We're going to replace that card. Would you like to keep your bet the same or change it? Same. All right, and you want to go higher or lower? Higher. Higher than a five, and it is a six. All right, what would you like to do now? Uh, $40 higher. All of it. Higher than a six, and it is a ten. You're up to $800 now. What would you like to do? All of it lower. Oh, taking the chance. All of it lower. It's a king. That's a bust, but we move you up to $400 now. So you now have $400 of betting money. And what would you like to do now? You have a king. Uh, lower. All of it lower than a king. And it is another chance to try to find that jackpot. You have three chances now. Let's replace that card. And would you like to keep the bet the same? Yes. All right, higher or lower? Lower. Lower than a king, and it is a 10. You have $800 now. What would you like to do? All of it lower. All right, all of it lower than a 10, and it is a 7. Now, remember, you can change one card per line. Would you like to change that card? Yes. With number 1, one. 2, or 3? 1. Number 1. All right, let's see what the seven is going to become. It is now going to become a... Another seven. Wow. Tough break. All right, what would you like to do? You have $1,600. Two. No, you can't change it again. Only one card per line. Darn it. Um, nice try, though. All of it higher. Oh, going to take the chance. All of it higher than a seven, and it is a four. That's a bust. Now, your score right now is uh, nothing. Brings your total winnings up to... Uh, $101,200.
The reason why your score is so high because Zach was playing as the champion. He got all that money, so it was pretty exciting. Okay, see if you can find the jackpot now. Three chances to try to find the jackpot. Find the card with the dollar sign. You get sixty thousand dollars. Are you ready, Daniel? Seven. Number seven. All right, let's see what's behind number seven. It is not right. You get another chance though. Go ahead. Three. Number three, and behind number three is not right. One more chance. I'm doing any, money, 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 who knows? Let's see if the producers are sneaky like that. Are you ready? One, two. That's a lot of money, though. So let's hope you can get it, because I really want you to get it. And I know you probably just want me to flip it. I like to rev I like to build up suspense, though. So, But I'm going to flip it anyways. Number six is not right. And it was number four, right smack dab in the middle. But next time jackpots were $70,000, and you have $101,200 so far. And that's it for gaming with Zach and Bob, or for gaming with Bob this week. Uh, with special guest star MSU fan Dan, thank you for playing all these games with me this week, Daniel. No problem. This week just seemed to fly by. I tell you, it seemed like it took an hour or something. But anyways, that's a little inside joke. And we'll see you next time. Remember to help control the YouTube population. Always flag inappropriate material. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.